that post just tickles me. Time check this morning. It is 844 and it's a big old weekend for Greenville County Winery. Cityscape debuts its brand new tasting room, but their story, it's one of perseverance, determination and love. The couple, they're local and they shared how they've poured blood, sweat and tears into their new addition. And I had the pleasure of getting a tour. The new and improved Cityscape Winery in the Pelzer area has been hosting grand opening events this week, preparing to open to the public this weekend. For those who don't know, the first owner started the company in Greenville. So our whole concept is born in the city, rooted in the country. Since 2015, current co-owners and husband and wife pair Joshua and Deborah Jones have been running the Pelzer area Cityscape Winery. When we first uh, started here at the winery, it was very, very small. We just had a little 600 square foot tasting room uh, and a little uh, three car garage where we <laughs> basically made all the wine. Uh, there was a house here in the middle uh, if you came back about a year ago um, and we actually worked um, with a local nonprofit called Fellow Countrymen. We actually uh, donated that house and moved it uh, up the street uh, so it could be used for veteran housing. Um, and so it's very cool because in that place we've built this beautiful new tasting room. It's uh, about 10,000 square feet. But before this huge facility came to be, there were certainly some challenges. Man, me and God had a lot of talks. Deborah explains. Um, we've had bees, we had rain, we've dealt with cold weather, and, and we survived all the obstacles, but man, was it tough. When it comes to today's version of Cityscape Winery, every detail was thought out to a T. Our whole concept, um, we have a courtyard, and it means the doors are open. Um, we don't have doors on our building. Uh, we do, but not when you initially come in to show that we have something for you, no matter who you are. And there's so much more. Our ceiling is really cool. We have pallet wood from all over the upstate, um, and it represents people coming together and being one and all being under the same roof. But that's not all. On two stories, we've got our production uh, downstairs underground, and then we've got a beautiful uh, tasting room up here. We've got a commercial kitchen, a beautiful back deck, and we're just so excited to have everybody from the upstate come visit. The Jones is telling me none of this would be possible without God. Saturday and Sunday, we are open to the public. This is a day that we've been waiting for for so long. We cannot wait to serve the community. Um, I'm about to cry. We're just so grateful to the Lord to finally give us uh, our final permits um, that we just got last week. And uh, we are so thrilled to be able to, to share our vision. And the Joneses say you'll even get to meet Pino the pig when they open to the public tomorrow and on Sunday. He's the winery's mascot. The Joneses also say to please register before coming out. And of course, we'll post a link to do so on our website. That's foxcarolina.com.